If your dog scratches itself from time to time, this is perfectly normal. But if the itching becomes persistent, it could be an indication of health problems, such as parasites or allergies. What are the common allergies? What are the triggers? And how can you help your dog if it's affected? An allergy is an overreaction of the body's immune system to substances that are actually harmless. The body thinks these substances, called allergens, present a danger and forms antibodies. There are different types of allergies in dogs. A flea saliva allergy is the most common. Environmental allergies, including to pollen, occur mainly in the first three years of life. Food allergies are mostly caused by proteins and less often by carbohydrates. Materials that your dog comes into contact with can cause contact allergies. However, these are rather rare. None of these allergies are congenital. The more often a dog is exposed to a specific trigger, the more likely it is to develop an allergy to it. This means that reactions can also occur quite suddenly. The first thing you should do is observe what signs your dog is exhibiting. With most allergies, the symptoms are very similar. The easiest to recognize is itching. Your dog will scratch and lick itself constantly. Skin reactions also usually show up as redness and pustules. If it's a food allergy, digestive problems may also be one of the signs. If the allergy continues for some time, scratching the affected areas can lead to skin thickening, inflammation and scabbing. At this point, it's high time to take your pet to the vet. Hello, come in. Hello, Chili. I've just had a look at your notes. You've come because she's itching, right? Exactly. What are her symptoms? She often scratches her ears, also her tummy from time to time, and she licks and scratches her paws. Let's have a look at Chili then. I'm going to look at her eyes. They seem a little bit red today, I think. I'll have a look and see if I can see any parasites. It's not uncommon for pets to get fleas. This can cause severe itching as well, of course. The fleas themselves hate light, so you don't usually see them during the day, but I can find any flea droppings with this comb. Okay. No, I can't find anything. It looks good, Chili. It's important in the first instance that we try to alleviate Chili's symptoms. I'd recommend giving some medicine to help with the itching. That's the main thing. And then we'll have to change her diet. She needs what's called an elimination diet. And then, if that doesn't show up anything, the only thing that's probably left is an environmental allergy. Many dogs are allergic to pollen or grass, and some to house dust mites. We'll have to establish a diagnosis before we can proceed in a targeted way. Unfortunately, detecting an allergy is not always easy, because they can occur in combination, and the symptoms can be very similar. So, a diagnosis is always established by elimination. Come back in two to three weeks for a follow-up and I'll give you some medicine to take with you today. Yes, many thanks, okay. To alleviate discomfort and calm the gut and immune system, it helps if you adapt your pet's diet. Easy to digest special food, like that from Hills or Concept for Life, is suitable for this purpose. Carefully selected sources of protein and carbohydrate can help reduce potential allergens, and a high, essential fatty acid content in combination with zinc and biotin to support the skin barrier can help alleviate the itching. A special mix of vitamins, minerals, trace elements and natural antioxidants will help promote your dog's natural defenses. An allergy can't be cured. However, the causes can be minimized or eliminated and the symptoms alleviated. Consider a carefully adapted diet as part of a holistic therapy. What else can you do? Try to minimize your dog's contact with the allergen as much as possible. This can be tricky if it's an environmental allergy, whereas a food or contact allergy can usually be avoided quite easily. Regular checking for parasites helps with a flea saliva allergy, 
and to help minimize an environmental allergy, try to avoid flowering meadows and wipe your dog down with a damp towel after each walk. I hope my tips will help to improve your dog's quality of life. I hope your dog feels better soon.